Hi everyone, hope you're all well. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have a really exciting topic to dive into with the world of Shopify. Whether you're an aspiring entrepreneur or a small business owner looking to expand your online presence, Shopify is a really powerful platform that can help you create and manage your very own e-commerce store. So in this video, we'll take you on a step-by-step -step journey through the world of Shopify. We'll explore how to set up your store, customize your website, look at different themes, add products and manage your inventory. So everything you'll need to know to start selling online successfully. So let's jump in. To create a Spotify account is completely free and Spotify do give you a free trial that you can enjoy uh, for three days. And then after that, you can upgrade to a plan for three pounds a month for three months. So that's a pretty extensive free trial that you can use to really get to know Shopify really explore all the features and see if it's worth something paying for. But once you're on the Shopify website, what you want to do is click on log in or start free trial. So you want to create a Shopify ID and you can do this with your email, um, you can do it with Facebook, Google, anything like that. Once you've signed up with through your preferred sign up method, Shopify will start by asking you about your business and about your brand. And this is just so that it can get help you get set up based on your own business needs. So it'll ask you if you are a uh, just starting up or if you're already selling online in person. And it's going to ask you where you'd like to sell. So you can sell on an online store. Um, you can also sell in person, social media. If you're not sure, there is an on, I'm not sure button. Um, in this example, we'll just stick to an online store, but you can cl click as many places as you want. And what do you plan to sell first? So these are the type of things that you want to sell in terms of, do you want to do job shipping products? Are they products um, yourself? Uh, any digital products, things like that. In this case, we'll just do products I make myself and just click next. And then you just want to make sure that you signed into the account, okay. So once you have your account set up, it'll show you the Shopify dashboard and it's from here you can see a checklist of what you need to do. And on the left is where you'll manage everything. So everything is separated. Your orders have their own tab, your products have their own tab, your customer list have their own tab, analytics content, they all have their own tab. So it makes it really easy to kind of manage everything as well. There's different ways to go from here. You can either start by adding your products um, or you can customize your online store. We'll start by adding the products. We can go through the setup guide. To start adding products, you can either click on the add product here in the setup guide or you can go directly into the products tab and you can see basically all the products that you'll have to sell. Right now there's not any uh, and currently, but once you add products, it'll show up in this products dashboard. So we're going to click on add your products. And you want to basically just type in all the product details and everything's really uh, front end friendly. It's very straightforward. It's labeled exactly where you need to write things. So your title is here, description here, media files, all in here. So you just want to go through each of these fields and just type in all of the uh, product information basically. To add video files or image files, you want to just click on add files and it'll open up the file explorer from your library and you just want to click on uh, the image that you want to add and you can add more than one images if you wanted to. You can give a paragraph here and it'll basically just type in a product description. You can also generate text as well. So this is using Shopify's own AI and you can basically just ask it to write a product description. And you basically just type in the features and the keywords, the tone of voice, um, and any special instructions as well. So for example, play some words with emojis. And you can basically just get Shopify to essentially write all of your uh, product descriptions, and then you can decide if you want to keep it and you can edit it as well. Then you want to give the pricing. And this is just the normal pricing of the product. And then you want to just, if you want to make it a sale item, you can do a compare app price. So um, this basically will show up the sale item. It'll show up with the old price scored with the new price um, beside it as well. Next, you want to give the uh, quantity. And this is if you want to track your quantity. So you make sure you're not sh selling more than what um, you actually have. So if you type in 50 here, you can decide if you want to continue selling one out of stock or if not. Then you want to go into variance. And this is where you can add 
uh, different variations of your product. So if your product comes in different sizes or for different colors, then you can add that as a variant and that way people can select the size or color that they want. And it just means that you can set different um, pricing for those sizes and it means you can select different uh, inventory options for those sizes as well. So in this product, for example, we'll have different sizes. So I'm going to click on add variant. I'm going to click on size and I'm going to do um, and you just each add each of the values um, one by one and just click done. And then down here, you can basically add different pricing for each of them and you can add different availability. So maybe there's 12 of this size, only five of this size and maybe 20 of this size. Lastly, you want to make sure that everything is uh, SEO optimized. So you want to make sure it has a page title, it has a description and it has a good URL handle as well. And then you want to look at the product organization. So the product organization part of Shopify basically allows you to uh, add filter and customization options and just means then uh, when you are building your pages, you can have a page dedicated to a particular category. So you can have a category for uh, men's shoes or shoes. And then you can type in a new collection. So we can talk about, uh, we can call it men's and click on create collection. You want to make sure that you have the collection saved, but you can have a collection for men's. And you can decide if you want to add the products manually or automatically whenever people are creating it. And now if you go back to products, we can have that um, set up here. And then once you're done, you just want to click on save. And then you, when you go back to the products page, you can see the products all lined up here. If you go back to home, it'll give you next steps on what you should do. So we have our first product. Next thing we want to do is customize our online store. And this is everything up to choosing a theme, adding your own logos, colors, and images to reflect your brand. So we're going to click on customize theme. And this is this theme here. So by default, we get the Dawn theme. Um, it's a really good theme, min clean, minimalistic theme. But what you can do is change the theme using the theme, li theme library. So there's a bunch of free themes here as well, and you can decide early on if you want to use this theme or not. Um, it's really important that you choose the theme early on and make sure that you have the logo and you have the colors all set up because it just means you can visualize your site a lot better. When selecting a Shopify theme, you want to consider factors like your brand identity, target audience, desired features, and budget. So take the time to explore different themes, read reviews, and preview demos to find the one that best suits your business needs and aesthetic preferences as well. Once you have a theme picked out, you want to click on customize to start cu uh, customizing um, things like colors and site settings as well as homepage changes as well. When it comes to editing the theme, you can there's lots of things that you can edit with the actual theme customizer here. However, for a more custom option, you would need to look into the liquid theme development for Shopify. But the first thing that you want to do is go into theme customizer and you want to go into theme settings and here you can add in the logos, you can add in the different colors um, and typography as well and you can give basically layouts um, spacing as well. So it just means then you have the theme of your website looking exactly how you want it to look like and just means the overall website aesthetic matches your brand exactly. When, as you make changes, um, you just want to make sure that you click save on everything. Um, it's important to note that you won't be able to um, you won't be able to uh, customize everything. If you want it more custom, then uh, you would need to look into uh, editing their theme files using Liquid. Once you have your theme customized, you want to make sure that you have other correct pages. So we, by default, you have your home page, but um, and you have a contact page. You can also add a page for your collections. So we have a men's collection. So we're going to call it men's, um, which is already a collection. And we want to add maybe like an about us page. And you want to make sure that there's an about us page template here. And then you can add the content here and then just click on save.
Next thing you want to organize navigation. So this is just making sure that the uh, menu is in the order that you want it. So we have the home, catalog and contact and you can decide if you want to add a new menu item um, in which case you can go into pages and you can see we've made the about us page. So we're going to just add in the about us page and just click on add and we're going to change the order of it slightly as well and just click on save. So you can navigate everything through here on the store and nav navigation. And you can decide if you want your custom domain. So this is our current domain. And as you can see, it's not very user friendly. It's not easily rememberable. It's not great for SEO. So you want to make sure that you have a custom domain. Um, and you can do that through Spotify as well. If you click on add domain, you can search for a new domain or you can add a con existing domain that you already own. So you have your uh, account set up, you have the theme that you want, it's customized, you know how to set up products. The last thing that you want to do is pick a plan um, for your website. As you know, so you have a free trial of three days and then you can test out one of the plans for as little as three pounds a month um, for three months. And then after that, you would need to either choose a pay plan and pay it in full or you can decide if you, whether or not Shopify is something worth paying for or not. To se select a plan, there should be a call to action on the dashboard here and you can see a list of all of the plans that Shopify have. So the basic, Shopify and advanced. Um, the advanced plan starts at 259, you have the Shopify that starts at 49 which is uh, one of the more popular plans and then you have the basic plan. The main difference between all of these are the transaction fees that um, Shopify charge. So the more advanced your plan is, the lower your fees are, and the more basic your plan is, the higher your fees are. You can pay as much as 2% on fees and as little as 0.5% for all third-party payment pro providers. And then the other main difference is the uh, these features here, so the uh, number of staff members that you can have as accounts, how many locations, and then uh, how re advanced your reporting is. What's really good about Shopify is that they do give you that three month, essentially a three-month trial where you can decide if you want to stick with using maybe an advanced plan or if you realize actually advanced there's too many features that you don't need um, and then you can downgrade to a more basic plan or if you're on a basic plan and you try it for three months and you think actually I need something a bit higher it just means then you have plenty of time to choose exactly what plan would be best for you and make that decision as well. And there you have it, a really quick overview of how Shopify works and how I can empower you to build and grow your business online. Um, the possibilities of Shopify are endless, whether you're selling handmade crafts, clothing, electronics, or even digital products, Shopify provides the tools and support that you might need. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow entrepreneurs. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below.